Hey, what's up, dude? Um, you notice, Stumpy, I had anterior pelvic tilt. Do you want me to talk about it? Yeah. All right. So you can really see it because your your stomach kind of flares out right here, and then at your low back, you have this big rounding, and then your butt kind of sticks out. So it looks like big booty Judy, your butt's always out, right? So your pelvis is like a pulley system. There's muscles pulling on both sides of the pelvis. That's pulling it into whatever position. So for Steven, he has stupid tight uh, hip flexors. So like right through here is really, really tight on both sides. So what that does is it, it shortens right here and kind of pulls him into this position because at the hip, he's really, really tight. And then his abdomen, specifically his lower abs, are really, really, really weak. So what he just did there is posterior tilt. Anyways, so his goal needs to be to strengthen this area here, his abdomen, and then also he needs to loosen these rectus femoris muscles and psoas muscles. So that'll help him be in a better uh, pelvic position. And then on the back side, here his hamstrings are probably really, really loose um, because his pelvis is being pulled upwards. So they're always lengthened right here. So if you were to stick your butt out and sit back like that, you might not be able to go that far uh, unless you're really flexible. So like do that, do that butt out position. We add, is your hamstring good to do that? That's right there is where it starts to hurt you, but otherwise you'd be able to go further. So yeah. anyways, uh, so his hamstrings are loose and his low back here is stupid tight. So it's pulling him into this position all the time, which means getting your knee up and things like that. Like lift your knee up without, just keep your butt out. See how the knee drops? That's another thing that happens. So yeah. now go to posterior tilt. So posterior tilt, he's acting, <laughs> stand up tall and tuck your pelvis, not put your knee up. So that's really awkward posture for you because you just never do it. But ideally that's what he needs to do. So how do you do it? You walk around and do it and then you can obviously work on some of the things we talked about, which I don't know if you're gonna. Yeah, the other thing I feel if you guys are having the same thing is like real pinching here. Like if I just pull my knee up to my chest if I'm laying on my back, it pinches here really, really hard. And then if I do like a body squat, it's like the first place I feel pinching is like in my hips. I've always known my hip flexors are really tight, but I knew my hips were tight in general, but now I have something to work on specifically, which is hip flexors. And I'll be doing stretches, so you'll see those stretches that are specific for that, because you don't want to just like lean back into it like that. There's different things, so I'll get into that as well. Thanks, John.